Do you know what must attend online automation conference is now open for registrations? What is observability 2.0 and can AI and LLMs be used to generate high quality playwright end to end scripts? Find out in this episode of the Test Skill News Show for the week of December 1st. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to our Test Guild LinkedIn News Show newsletter that I'll have a link for down below to never miss another episode. All right, so breaking news, Automation Guild 2025 registration is now officially open. So get ready for our ninth annual Automation Guild, the premier online conference for software testers and automation engineers happening in February. And for this year's online event, I tried to make it bigger and better than ever with cutting edge sessions led by top industry experts, live Q&A opportunities, and actual insights to boost your animation game in the new year. And just so you know, prices will go up, so they'll never be lower than now. So make sure to head on over to automationguild.com and make sure to register now because the price will increase soon. And definitely check out all our speakers and sessions. And based on the responses, I find speakers and sessions to fit the needs of the community. So make sure to check it out. Register down below. Hope to see you there. What is Observability 2.0? Well, let's find out. I found this recent blog post by Forte Group's Lee Barnes on the importance of observability and quality assurance. And this article explores the integration of advanced observability practices into the QA process, allowing for better monitoring, debugging, and optimization of software systems. And by using observability tools, QA teams can significantly enhance their ability to identify issues early, improving system performance, and ensuring high quality in software delivery. And the blog highlights how observability enables teams to gain deeper insights into their application's behavior and user experience in real world conditions, bridging the gap between development and operations. So I really think software testers should embrace observability as part of their routine QA processes to gain more actionable insights into application performance and user interactions. And by doing so, you can proactively identify potential defects and performance bottlenecks, leading to more resilient and reliable software. It's a must-have skill for 2025. And if you like this article and you want to learn more from Lee, Lee is going to be one of our speakers at the next Automation Guild. So definitely check out this article and then register for Automation Guild down below. And as I mentioned previously, Playwright has probably become one of the most popular automation tools the past year or so, and its popularity has just increased more and more. And a new trend I've been seeing with Playwright is using it for API testing as well. So, and I also know a lot of people are struggling with Postman as they keep increasing rates. And here's a tool that actually allows you to rewrite your existing Postman collections, which can be really time consuming for testers if you're managing large testing libraries. And to address this challenge, the post write plugin has been introduced, developed as a work in progress solution. This tool automates the conversion of Postman collections into Playwright scripts. And the plugin currently has the following features. You can transform Postman API requests into Playwright Postman compatible scripts. It also handles basic tests for static codes and response times. And you can create both .js and JSON files for variable storage. So if you're thinking about migrating completely from Postman to Playwright using Playwright for API testing, this could really help simplify the migration process. You can find out more about it using the link down below. Have you heard of Area Snapshots and how it can help slash a UI test suite? If not, check out this next post. It's by Kalen Porter, who explores the potential of using Area Snapshots in Playwright to streamline and reduce the size of user interface test suites. And he outlines how ARIA, which is accessible, rich internet applications, how these snapshots can effectively capture the state of a web application, which may lead to faster and more efficient UI testing processes. And as you know, UI tests can become very large and hard to maintain and out of control and consuming significant resources and time for development teams. But by leveraging the snapshots here that he outlines, developers and testers can optimize their testing workflows, ensuring that critical accessibility and functional aspects are covered well at the bloat of excessive test cases. If you haven't already looked into area snapshots, here's a way to check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As you know, I'm always looking for new tools. Here's another one. This is by Robin, who, who's been talking about Testus for a while, but he has a really cool innovation where they just announced Testus Hercules 0.8 has been launched, which introduced several updates. And if you don't know, Testus is an open source automation framework designed to streamline software testing through autonomous AI agents. Its primary tool 
Hercules enables users to input test scenarios in Gherkin format, which the system then executes automatically, delivering results in XUnit format. In Hercules supports both UI and API testing, offering flexibility across various testing needs. And some of the new features that are included are enhancements to the functional API testing, which it says the release simplifies API testing across multiple endpoints, leveraging open API specifications. And test creation is now 50 times faster, significantly cutting down the authoring to results cycle. Also, it points out cost-effective security testing because the tool enables comprehensive website and API security scans at a highly affordable price point and also auto-generated test cases. Users can now kickstart their API and security testing with boilerplate files and reduce the manual efforts and avoid repetitive test creation. Also, it improves logs for better debugging and a bunch of different bug fixes. And if you don't know Robin, he's a must-follow resource as well. And this sounds like a really cool tool. If you haven't checked out, you definitely want to, down below. Have you ever wondered if using AI and LLMs to generate playwright end-to-end -end scripts is a good idea? Well, I found this next post. It was pointed out to me by Hans, who pointed out a blog post on his checklist site that actually tackles this particular question. And the article by Stefan has a comparison between using ChatGPT and Playwright CodeGen to generate test scripts. So it compares ChatGPT, how it's leveraged for its natural language processing capabilities to create test scripts from plain language descriptions, and compares it against the Playwright CodeGen, which is a tool offered by Microsoft, which automates the generation of scripts by capturing user actions in real time and then translating them into executable code. The article evaluates both tools, focusing on various aspects such as ease of use, accuracy and script generation, and their overall application and testing scenarios. And there's a video that goes over into more detail, and the post indicates that while ChatGPT provides a more intuitive approach through language understanding, it occasionally struggles with generating precise and runnable code, particularly with complex scenarios. But the Playwright CodeGen excels in accuracy by capturing exact user interactions, though it may require more technical know-how and can be less flexible in adjusting to user intention expressed in natural language. Which approach is best for you? Well, definitely check it out. Let me know your thoughts using the link down below. All right, next up is follow the money segment. So I found this on Darren's LinkedIn post who announces a huge, huge investment in Tricentis. The leading private equity firm has announced $1.33 billion investment in Tricentis which as you know, is one of the leaders in enterprise software testing. And I think this move really underscores the importance of software testing. As you see that companies like this are investing huge sums of money in it. So if you're asking me questions like, is automation still important? Is testing still gonna be important? Do I have to worry about my career? I think when you follow the money, I say, yes, it's a hot, hot area to be in. And I think this is also going to help Tricentis accelerate more innovation within the software testing space. So definitely keep your eye out for this. So as I say, I always think money is a key indicator of where the market is going. And as you can see, companies are investing huge sums in testing and automation. So definitely something to be aware of. And you can learn out more about this investment using the link down below. And also, as I was scrolling through LinkedIn, I noticed that Rue announced there's a new version of Alt Tester. What is Alt Tester? Well, Let's read more. And if you don't know, Alt Tester is a comprehensive test automation solution tailored for Unity-based games and applications and offers a suite of tools, services, and training designed to help streamline and enhance the testing process. And the new version, 2.2, brings new features and improvements to an already popular testing tool. So this update includes UI toolkit support, enables testers to automate testing processes more efficiently within Unity projects, and the update aims to streamline testing workflows and enhance capabilities with existing testing environments. So if you have to test any type of Unity game or application, which I know is really, really popular, I know a lot of people struggle with, hey, how do I automate this? Well, here's one solution you should definitely check out, and you can find it down below. And for links of everything of value we covered in this news episode, head over to all those links down below. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.